good afternoon so this is the last uh, i think presentation and uh, i have been told by the organizers to go fast so the last best man will try to hit six and win for india uh, so this is almost the summary of what has been probably not here but hall a might be discussing uh, gdm care from destiny to dreams uh, this is a definition but the last sentence is the impo uh, important it is also applicable irrespective of whether the condition results so the gdm results or not it is called gdm so we want to give a good life to the lady so these are all the data which i will skip and uh, one in six life birth occurs to women with some form of hypoglycemia 84 percent of which are due to gdm and hyperglycemia is one of the most common medical conditions women encounter during pregnancy so whether GDM is a destiny, uh, already Dr. Shesha in the morning told us that uh, though it is inherited, it doesn't mean that the patient has to uh, have it because there are a lot of environmental factors, a lot of lifestyle playing into and so these are the non-modifiable risk factors, advanced modif maternal age, Asian race, first degree related to affected by type 2 diabetes, history of other hormones including PCOS and then genetic genetic always is there several candidate genes including some of which modulate beta cell dysfunction and some that influence the beta cell action so insulin resistance as well as insulin secretion and interestingly many of these candidate genes share a genetic architecture with type 2 so definitely there is genetics and demographics which are non-modifiable so probably it is destiny but at the same time there are some modifiable risk factors which are lifestyle like pre-pregnancy obesity, gestational weight gain in early and mid-pregnancy, dietary and physical activity, during preconception, smoking, shorter inter-pregnancy interval, depression and of course again I have just emphasized lower level of physical activity and sedentary behavior prior to or in early pregnancy. These are all modifiable. So that is more important probably <clears throat> and there are other factors which are more complex like gut microbiome and genetics and access to healthcare this can also be included as risk factors which can be modified so just in favor of genetics gestational diabetes serves as a window to reveal a predisposition to type 2 diabetes and pregnancy is an environmental stressor that may catalyze the progression to a diabetic state in genetically predisposed women therefore identification of these women is important because it decreases the occurrence of type 2 through targeted prevention. So these are the target women which we can uh, prevent diabetes. And these are the various uh, studies in favor. The gene-wide association study also showed that the risk of both type 2 and gestational diabetes suggesting a shared genetic basis. The glucose, there is one Modi profile, a large scale meta-analysis confirmed observations from previous study that uh, my 30 promoter variant in GCK was associated with increased fasting as well as increased birth weight. So it's a there is some inherited destiny, and so these are multiple factors. Except the genetic vulnerability is there, but there are multiple factors playing which we can all modify. So it is important to note that while these studies provide valuable insights, genetic landscape of GDM is likely to be multifactorial involving the interplay of multiple genes and environmental factors. So yes, we can uh, do a uh, lot of things to prevent GDM in fact first. So can we prevent GDM? Yes, there are lifestyle studies. This meta analysis suggests that lifestyle interventions, especially before 15 weeks, including dietary modification and physical activity can significantly reduce the risk of developing. So first is prevention we can do. So these are all various lifestyle intervention in favor of diet, the Rogosinska study, six trials, 1,300 patients, the Benental, 3,388 patients, and both high and low risk women and uh, pregnant women also they were studied. And they showed that intervention versus conventional. What is intervention? Either diet, lifestyle, or whatever can be done uh, in pregnancy. In fact, insulin can. Uh, I, I don't think uh, the therapy is here, the lifestyle is important. So relative risk reduction was 33% and 44% in both the studies and physical activity. Physical activity in all kinds of population like pregnant women with no contraindication to exercise, healthy pregnant women who were sedentary, had low physical activity, obese or overweight pregnant women. So all these studies uh, showed different things and probably all these studies showed that intervention in terms of exercise structured exercise program reduces which already had been uh, taken by doctor uh, in the previous uh, lecture and of course multimodal so lifestyle along with behavior modification the study by Kentor at all intervention that could contain a counseling component supervised or prescribes exercise or dietary programs or weight management 
or counseling only and what did they show was intervention was definitely better in terms of behavioral with lifestyle was better and hence we can prevent gdm in this population if taken care of with lifestyle but suppose if it occurs then we all know that what happens with uh, hyperglycemia and pregnancy and this is a slide everyone knows but what we, what is important we want to uh, prevent the immediate complication also and the right side for the late complications also so the hepo study uh, clearly showed that there was a continuous strong association between maternal glucose level below those diagnostic of diabetes and it was so there is definitely even mild hyperglycemia can cause it was outcome and the hepo follow up study also showed that offspring exposed to untreated gdm in utero are insulin resistant with limited beta cell compensation compared to offsprings of mother without gdm so gdm is significantly and independently associated with childhood igt so can proactive management change the testing of gdm again so we want to again reduce the complication which occurs due to gdm by proactively managing and this was the very clear australian carbohydrate intolerance study in the pregnant woman acquired trial group and they showed that treatment of gestational diabetes even mild hypoglycemia reduce the serious perinatal morbidity and also improves the women's health related quality of life serious it reduced from 4 to 1% and at 3 months after delivery rates of depression were lower and quality of life scores were higher which is consistent with improved health status in the interventional group similarly this was a very big study of maternal fetal medicine unit network and treatment of mild gestational diabetes reduced the risk of fetal overgrowth shoulder dysplasia cesarean delivery and this is again the summarization of both the studies that treatment of even mild is beneficial in terms of reduced pregnancy and use hypertension preeclampsia reduced cesarean delivery the macrosomia the birth trauma was not so significant in terms of number jaundice and hypoglycemia again almost similar but these are the beneficial uh, in frame terms of mild gdm treatment so from uh, again the same untreated gestational diabetes mellitus carries significant risk for perinatal morbidity in all disease severity but if you see the second para two to four four fold increase in the metabolic complications and macrosomia was found in untreated group with no difference between non diabetic and untreated so if you treat a gdm it is almost like Uh, going to a non-diabetic state if you properly proactively treat and uh, properly control it so this is the timely and effective treatment may substantially improve the outcome again the same us preventive task force showed that new birth injuries shoulder dysplasia macrosomia allergy everything was less uh, with the timely intervention so until there is evidence to absolutely prove that ignoring maternal hyperglycemia when the fetal growth uh, patterns appear normal it is prudent achieve and maintain normal glycemia in every pregnancy which is complicated by gdm this is mild moderate severe whatever but so of course we have done it we have proactively managed it whether we we should leave the patient at this in this time so what comes after delivery so can we prevent the long term effects this is where she can live her dream life because that gdm is going to go and then again the lady is going to go back home we the as obstetricians or the physicians will not care of and these are the long term complications where we gdm can give type 2 diabetes later on hypertension muscular dysfunction ischemic heart disease again complication of the offsprings uh, we all know we don't discuss here so gestational diabetes impacts approximately 17 million pregnancy worldwide have 8 to 10 fold higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes there is two fold higher risk of developing cardiovascular disease and pregnancy should be utilized as an opportunity to identify women at risk and initiate prevent that is where probably we all have to work proactively rather than just treating the gdm and leaving the patient at that time so these are all post partum practices there are so many lists but just a, a small that education now education on lifestyle intervention improve access to lifestyle changes create environmental opportunity for physical activity healthy food encourage breastfeeding this is one of the most important thing for a gdm patient breastfeeding they have shown that even 2 months of breastfeeding after delivery reduces the incidence of diabetes by almost half in the lady and they have shown that if it is still increased by 5 to 6 month more than half a uh, reduction in type 2 diabetes for the next 2 years long term impact still has not been properly studied but breastfeeding has definitely shown to be beneficial so this is the one of the penultimate slide so finally 
it is a life course for type 2 or other ncds we want the women to be healthy starting from preconception counseling optimization of risk factors maternal nutrition we want to reduce the maternal obesity but in first trimester again identify as early as possible as dr shesha has told eight week ten weeks and start treating them early and then there are novel markers but probably uh, uh, glucose is one of the best markers of course treatment of gdm as we showed the treatment of gdm reduces the complication even the mild gdm optimal gestational weight gain should be taken care of the epigenetic effects in the offsprings and then of course the reduction of the intergenerational effect and the last uh, on the right side is postpartum and that is probably called the fourth trimester and that is where we want the women to be healthy encourage breastfeeding as i showed postpartum diabetic screening or regularly first in the after six weeks and one yearly and probably maximum every two yearly for the next probably lifetime of the woman because she is more prone to she has a, a stressor of pregnancy and genetically she is predisposed and lifelong dm prevention that is what we want so if we want the, our lady to live healthy we want the fourth the post fourth trimester to be very much healthy so this is just a story of opera win free a lesson in changing destiny to born into an absolute poverty and she did not let years of misery, poverty, childhood trauma dictate her destiny and her choices and decisions led to reversing of prophesied destiny. So actually she is called the queen of all media and the richest African American of the 20th century and living her dream life. And that is what we want for all the ladies probably. In fact, I would consider them uh, more advantages than male because male don't have any access at 25 or 30 year. The GDM is a window where you can say that you can have diabetes and then she can uh, properly follow her lifestyle. So it's multifactorial, concluding with various modifiable and non-modifiable risk factor. It can be prevented by lifestyle. Proactive GDM, even in the mild GDM, definitely improves the perinatal outcome. Long-term prevention of type 2 diabetes is possible and a woman can live a healthy life. Destiny can be changed by right choices and she can live a dream life. Thank you.